The Father says today, my blessings in your life are beyond human rationality. You are not going to be able to validate my benefits in your life by natural reasoning or in any sense earning my goodness or favor. My blessing over you does not arise from the mental realm, but rather from my heart. My love for you drives my blessing, my goodness and my tender loving kindness every day in your behalf. Receive today the new mercies, yes, even the mercies that are new every single dawn over your life. I am a passionate father, and I am passionate toward you in great measure. It is my intense love for you that moved me to the cross. It is my passion for you that I carried to the throne. From the throne of heaven, this passion moves me still on your behalf. The heavens are rent, and the hills will melt and flow down in response to my great love for you. Trust what I do next. My hand is not still in your situation, says the Father. I am moving in the circumstances to will and to do my good pleasure. I am a faithful Father and faithfulness is the bread that I will feed you even in this hour. Type Amen to claim this message and the blessings inside for your own. Try and leave a positive comment for other viewers who might need a positivity boost in their day. Act now and sow into this word. Sow according what you need and want God to do in your situation. If you have faith to give $10,000, you have to receive $1 million. Now this raises an important question. What will you do with this revelation? Your guardian angels have gone out of their way to share this celestial message with you. Could it be a sign that you're stepping into a new, even more impactful chapter of your own journey? And if so, are you ready for it? If you've listened to this message and felt a resonance, know that it's no mere coincidence. May your guardian angels guide you towards endless opportunities to shine even brighter. Now listen to this prayer as it holds divine blessings and essence. Dear Jesus, everywhere I walk, let it be on your path. Everything I see, let it be through your eyes. Everything I do, let it be your will. For every hardship I face, let me place it in your hands. Every emotion I feel, let it be your spirit moving in me. Everything I seek, let me find it in your love. My dear God, thank you for this day. I ask not to know where I am going but only to know and feel in the depths of my heart and soul that you are with me, that you are guiding me, that I am safe in the protection of your loving care. In Jesus' name, I offer myself to you. Jesus, you say that you came to bring us life and life to the full. Through your death and resurrection, you brought hope to life. You gave us access to heaven and the limitless goodness and wisdom of the Father. Give me the desire today to seek you and teach me to value you above anything else. God, I want to let go of all that lies behind me. I want to let go of the sins that have entangled me, the bad habits I can't break, and the fears and anxieties that keep chasing me. I'm ready for a fresh start. I believe that you are making all things new and that you have prepared for me glory beyond what I can imagine. Help me to live into that glory even now. Please. Help me to live in the light of your Son, Jesus, in whose name I pray, Amen. Dear God, 
Fill me with your spirit of kindness and compassion so that I may be a light to those around me. Remind me to do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit, but to value others above myself. Lord, I know that kindness is not always easy, especially when I encounter difficult people or situations. I pray that you would give me the strength and wisdom to respond with grace and love. May I be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to anger. I also ask that you would help me to see the needs of those around me. Sometimes people are hurting and they don't know how to ask for help. Give me eyes to see and ears to hear so that I can be a source of comfort and support to those in need. As I go about my day, I pray that you would help me to be intentional about showing kindness to others. Your call to follow Jesus, maybe you're praying this morning prayer to follow Jesus today because you are seeking to follow him more closely. Maybe you've heard his call, but you're not sure what it means or how to respond to it. The good news is that Jesus' call is for everyone, regardless of who you are or what you've done. You don't have to be perfect or have everything figured out to follow him. All you need is a willingness to say yes and to trust him with your life. Following Jesus means letting go of your own plans and surrendering to his will. It means loving God above all else and loving your neighbor as yourself. It means living a life of faith, hope, and love, even when it's not easy. But following Jesus also means experiencing his grace and mercy in your life. It means having a peace that surpasses all understanding and a joy that cannot be taken away. It means being part of a community of believers who support and encourage each other on the journey. Dear God, I come before you with a heart full of anxiety and worry about my finances. But as I meditate on this verse, I am reminded of your promise to bless the work of my hands and provide for my needs. You have promised to open your storehouse of blessings and pour them out on me. Lord, help me to trust in your promises and rely on your provision. I choose to lay down my worries and anxieties at your feet and believe that you are in control of my financial situation. Please give me wisdom to make good decisions with my finances and guide me as I manage my resources. I declare that I am blessed and highly favored by you and that your storehouse of blessings is open to pour out upon me. I am grateful for your faithfulness and love and I know that you will never leave me nor forsake me. Dear Jesus, I want to wake up each day with a grateful heart. I am grateful for the gift of life and for the opportunity to follow you. Lord, I know that following you is not always easy. There will be challenges and obstacles along the way. But I also know that you are faithful and that you will be with me every step of the way. Help me to trust in you and to rely on your strength when I am weak. May I never forget that you are my source of hope and courage. So today, Lord, I choose to follow you. I surrender my plans, my dreams, my desires, and my fears to you. I entrust my life to your loving hands and ask that you guide me according to your will. May your kingdom come and your will be done in my life as it is in heaven. Thank you, God, 
for your love and grace. I pray that you would help me to be more like you each day. In Jesus' name, 